On May 3, 1986, NASA attempted to launch a new weather satellite called GOES-G for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The satellite was designed to monitor meteorological conditions from a geostationary orbit, intended to replace the older GOES-5 and provide continuous vertical profiles of atmospheric temperature and moisture. The launch occurred on May 3, 1986, at 2218 GMT, aboard a Delta 3000 rocket. It was the first NASA launch following the Challenger disaster. 71 seconds into the flight, the first stage RS-27 engine shut down prematurely due to a massive electrical short. The launch vehicle quickly started tumbling out of control. The satellite and third stage were stripped off by aerodynamic forces, followed by loss of booster telemetry data at T plus 80 seconds. At T plus 91 seconds, the range safety officer sent the destruct command. Film and photographic data confirmed that the solid rocket boosters had continued operating until final destruct and that the second stage propellant tanks also ruptured from aerodynamic forces. This video combines multiple camera angles of the flight. Sound recorded from different locations was mixed in stereo to provide extra ambience. Hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to like and subscribe. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Delta 178 and the GOES G satellite. Data looks very good, reported by Skip Mackey. We're now going through the Max Q region. The six solid strap one boosters will continue to burn until T plus 60 seconds. At that time, the vehicle will be traveling at a velocity of almost 1400 miles per hour. And we have burnout out of six solid rocket motors. The next three have ignited. And the first three have been jettisoned. Oh, first six solids have been jettisoned. We have a main engine shutdown. We show a premature main engine shutdown. Mackey reporting that uh, we did have a main engine shutdown. We don't really have a cause at this point of what happened. Mackey reporting, we do not know the cause of the main engine shutdown. Uh, the data will be analyzed at this point. Skip Mackey reporting that we do not have a cause at this point. All we know at this point is that we have had had a main engine shutdown of the Delta 178 spacecraft, and the data will be analyzed at this point. The vehicle began tumbling, and uh, the solids were burning at that point. <laughs> 